Ron Paul is the only Republican candidate saying America should get our troops out of Iraq now. He says the United States should not be the world's policeman. You say we should have no world policeman. The world doesn't need a policeman. We're, we're wise and powerful. Mm -hmm. Isn't it our responsibility to help others that way? It's okay for us to have a responsibility personally to help other people. If, uh, if we didn't have an income tax, you would have more money and, and you could help as many people as you wanted. But to go around the world and spread democracy and spread our goodness, no. I think uh, it, it doesn't work. There's a, too many uh, unintended consequences. And to spread our goodness overseas, it usually requires force. We're spreading our goodness in Iraq. We can't do that without dropping bombs on there and killing a lot of people. I think we should only do those things under the prescribed uh, conditions uh, of the Constitution. Is war ever justifiable? Sure. If you're attacked, you have a right and an obligation to defend our country. And the Constitution is very clear on that. So yes, in, in defense, I do not believe there's ever a moral justification to start the war. So World War II, we were justified sure. because of Pearl Harbor. Right. How about... Uh, going into Afghanistan after September 11th. I voted for that authority to go after those responsible for 9-11. I was very unhappy with what happened because we neglected to pursue Osama bin Laden. We didn't but pursue. But we were justified because he was there. Because he was supported he was there by that country. And they committed a violent act. But I was, that did not mean that they had the authority uh, to occupy and try to transform Afghanistan, which is a problem that is, has not gone away yet. It's, it's going to be growing. Uh, that is a perpetual problem for us because we did not uh, do what we were supposed to do. The Korean War? Totally non unjustified. It's Kosovo? Uh, absolutely unjustified. Vietnam? A horror. We should just not have gotten involved. Right. How about the first Iraq War? They invade Kuwait, we should just say, not our business? That was a border dispute. As a matter of fact, we told Saddam Hussein, who was our ally, when we went into Iran, he, he was encouraged by us. So he told us, he let us know, you know that he, he might, might do it. Then he invaded the next country and the next country. Well, maybe they should do something about it. I bet Israel would have done something about it. And I bet Saudi Arabia maybe would have talked to Israel. I think, they, I think if it would have been left to the region, they might have taken care of Saddam Hussein in 1990 and we wouldn't have the problems we had today. But it's not our business. It's, it's not our business. Uh, Even if there's genocide? Terrible suffering places? No, because genocides, uh, you know, the Soviets did it, the Chinese did it, Pol Pot did it. I think it's a tragedy and we can have a moral statement, but you can't uh, use force of arms uh, to invade other countries to make them better people. Our job is to make us a better people. If we don't attack them there, they'll attack us here. And I think the opposite is true. I think the fact that uh, we occupy their territories and we have angered even more people now. Our occupation has expanded tremendously from what it was like before 9-11. And yet uh, the radicals uh, were able to use our bases in Saudi Arabia and the bombing of Iraq as a reason you know, to, uh, to come over here. They were motivated, you know, 19 individuals ready to sacrifice their lives and come over here. And uh, Because we had bases in their land. If, if you believe what Osama bin Laden says, and I don't think he would lie. Rudy Giuliani says that's an absurd explanation on the debate. He, he did say that, and uh, maybe he has changed his mind because I gave him quite a few books to read that have studied this rather well by CIA agents and other experts, and they come up with a different conclusion. I think logic tells us that I'm right on this side of the issue, especially if China were to do the same thing to us, and they were here, and they had troops in our land, and they said they were going to protect their oil. Uh, I don't think we would like it. You know, we would resent it. We'd probably do some shooting. We'd be ticked off. But yeah. Is this case not different? There are religious fanatics who hate us and want to kill us simply because of our culture. I don't think that's, that's true. It is not Muslim fanaticism that is, is the culprit. Uh, the country that has the most suicide terrorism is in Sri Lanka, and it's not a Muslim issue. The two most radical Islamic countries in the world, Iran and Sudan, do not commit uh, suicide terrorism. So uh, that is not 
the litmus test. The litmus test is whether they interpret or we are actually occupying a territory that they resent. In the case of Saudi Arabia, that was holy land for them. You would pull our troops out of most everywhere. You'd pull American troops out of Korea, Germany, Middle would, East, everywhere. Would. It'd be two, well, several reasons. One, um, under the Constitution, we don't have the authority to just put troops in foreign countries willy-nilly and we're not at war. I mean, where does this authority come from? It, uh, the other major reason is, is uh, we can't afford it anymore. We're going broke. We're on the verge of doing what all great empires have done in the past, spread themselves too far, far wide around the world, and then they have to come home because the currency is finally devalued and depreciated to the point where you can't afford it anymore, and that's what the markets are telling us right now today. Many say the surge is succeeding. We're at a turning point now. And we are creating a model of democracy in a part of the world that hasn't seen that. And, and that will change everything. Well, that's the propaganda. I, I, I don't happen to believe that. And uh, if you talk to the military people, a lot of them won't agree with it. I happen to get more money from the military, uh, active military people than any other candidate because they see it uh, uh, more from my viewpoint. And, and if in most of Iraq some religious fanatic comes to power and has money to buy nuclear weapons, just leave them alone? Well, it's not likely to happen, but um, the, the threat was that they had them and they didn't. The Soviets had the technology. I was called to service in the 60s. I served five years in the Air Force. They were 90 miles off our shore, and they had nuclear weapons there. But we were able to talk to them. We took our missiles out of Turkey. They took the missiles out of Cuba. We should be talking to people like this. I think it's miraculous that we didn't have to go to a nuclear war with China or the, or the Soviets. And they had a lot of them. But we didn't invade them in order to get rid of those weapons. It's, it's the lack of diplomacy that is the greatest threat, not the weapons themselves. If North Korea invades South Korea, we should just leave it alone? Sure, but it's not going to happen. I mean, South Korea is about 10 times more powerful than North Korea. If and China we, invaded Taiwan? Sure. Well, I mean, it's, uh, that's, that's a border war, and they should deal we with should it. We should stay out of it. Yeah. If Canada invades Montana? I think that might be a little bit different. Uh, because Montana probably could take care of it, but uh, we'd probably help them out from Washington if that happened. That's a role for the federal government. Oh, sure.